Hi, my name is Jan Berbe. I am a partner of Repack, and Repack is the company that's the first one to introduce reusable packaging for e-commerce. Basically what we do is we make sure that web stores who use packaging that is thrown away after you have an empty pack can be reused. So this is an example of uh, the repack. And what uh, end users do when they receive their web orders is they, they empty the pack. And when you have the packaging empty like this, you simply fold it small and leave this flap outside. And this is in fact our eternal stamp. It means you can drop it in the mailbox it goes back to us at Repack. We check the package, we clean it, and we bring it into circulation again. And we do that 20 times, 30 times again. So that saves an enormous amount of plastic waste. And uh, this ID now exists for four years. And we started uh, this because of an ID that we saw so much uh, uh, packaging creating from e-commerce. And we combined it with the ID of uh, the bottle deposit system, which we have in several countries in Europe, where people can bring an empty bottle back and receive a bit of money. When the package is with us, we do three things. We check if it's clean. If not, we clean it. We bring the package into circula circulation again, so web stores can buy it again. And we send a thank you note to the end user, telling him that we are happy that the package is still in use. And we also give that person a voucher. And this voucher can be used at any of the web stores that work with us. So the end users can use it anywhere. Repack is uh, an environmental friendlier alternative than traditional packaging like cardboard or, or uh, poly bags, because these are thrown away. And you may know the famous reduce, reuse, recycle. Uh, well, it is also to be done in that order. First, we should reuse, reduce our consumption. Then we should reuse what we buy. And only then we should recycle it. Repack is stage two. We, it is a reusable packaging. And because of that, you save a lot of CO2 because recycling takes energy. This package only has to be sent back again to us to be used again. After 20 turns with a repack, you will have saved 80% of CO2 in comparison to recyclable packaging. Not only that, we have made this repack of recycled materials. So we have also, also make sure we don't use virgin materials when we make it. And as a third element, this package can also be used for product returns. So imagine that I buy something and I don't want it in red, but in blue. I put my product back, ship it back to the store, and they can use the same package again. As you can, uh, can see, this is a, a plastic packaging. And in fact, a plastic packaging is still a very good solution to package. The only important thing is it has to be reused. When we were starting to think about reusable packaging, we found that the fashion world is one of the biggest e-commerce players in the total e-commerce market. So we started designing a, a solution for fashion. Uh, well, when I say fashion, I should say soft products because in a bag you can put soft products, but you cannot put breakable items in there. The web stores that start doing this are usually web stores that have a very strong sustainable focus, but there are also many commercial benefits of using web, using repack. And users find it more attractive to have a reusable packaging. So in your marketing as a web store, you can do it. Now what we see that in the beginning, more the smaller web stores started using this because for large companies that ship thousands of orders per day, it's a complex thing to introduce an alternative packaging. Repack can be used as an alternative to your existing packaging. Also some web stores completely changed to web stores, which we like. But um, in the bigger companies, it's usually an alternative that can either be chosen by the end user, the customer of our customer, or our customer themselves decides to put some of the items in a repack, like only the higher value orders, or maybe only the soft goods where you also sell breakable items. When uh, web stores decide to use a repack, usually the first trigger to do it is, wow, this is something much more sustainable. But there are also other, let's say, business-related benefits to using a repack. The first thing is that uh, you give end users a broader choice. Sometimes they can choose this. Other web stores decide to offer the repack for free to companies. 
As you know, when this product is offered to customers for a price, then suddenly the web store has no cost in packaging anymore. So that can be a cost driven, cost reason. Other web stores who offer a voucher to customers that send back an empty repack, suddenly see new business coming because of the voucher system. And there's also a third alternative. That's where web stores offer a free repack for any order that's over an X amount, like 100 euros or 150. What we see is then when you, you introduce that trigger to use a repack, customers are just adding up a little bit of product into their shopping basket and we see an average order value increase. So we see various reasons besides the environmental reasons to use a repack for web stores.